Hello there, these are different sensor modules. We usually use this for monitoring different parameters in our projects. Like this DHT11 for temperature and humidity measurement, LDR for light, VMB for pressure, etc. But when we want to measure different types of parameters in a single project, like an environmental monitor project, we need to use all these sensor modules. This will increase the use of more GPIOs, size of the project, power consumption, etc. Here is the solution for all these problems, a all-in-one environmental sensor module from DF Robot. This tiny module can measure temperature, humidity, ultraviolet intensity, light intensity, atmospheric pressure, and elevation. This can be integrated with both I2C and UART modes. So in this video, let's see the complete details including specs, how to program, and a small project using this all-in-one environmental sensor module. Now, let's get started with this video. Here is the sensor module. You can see the sensors are placed above the module. The module comes with SHT C3 temperature and humidity sensor, DMB280 barometric pressure sensor, VEML7700 ambient light sensor, and ML8511 UV sensor. The size of this module is 20.5 by 30 mm. It has six pins on each side of the module. It supports both I2C and serial communication with microcontrollers. One side has serial pins which include 3.3 volt, ground, RX, and TX. The remaining two pins are not connected or NC. On the opposite side, we have the pins for I2C communication 3.3 volt, ground, CL, and STA, then two NC pins. That's all about the hardware specs of this module. Now let's connect this module to a microcontroller and test. Here I am using this ESP32 port. You can use Arduino also. I am using the serial communication here. So I connected the TX and RX pins to the GPIOs of ESP32. You can use any GPIOs because we are configuring the pins in the code. Then connect the VCC to 3.3 volt and ground to ground. Now open the Arduino IDE. We need two libraries for this specific module. So first download the DF Robot Environmental Library and DF Robot RTU Library. You can use the links given in the video description for downloading. After downloading, add to the library section by going sketch, include library, add zip library. After adding the libraries, open the Arduino code. You can copy that from DF Robot site or you can download from the link. So here is the code. Here you can see a defined mode switch. By default, this code is for UART communication. If you want to use I2C, then change this one to zero. That's it. We don't want to change anything because we are using UART. So after uploading the code to ESP32, you can see the values in the serial monitor. Nice. Now I connected the sensor to this MakerFox 1.9 inch ESP32 display. I made this code by modifying the example code. After uploading, we can see the beautiful interface. You can find the code. You can find the code and purchase link from the video description. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.